deep down in my heart, there's a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. This holy mass is offered up for the souls of Alvina, first death adversary, Irene Montero, John and Lily Fernandez, Lancy Paul Sequeira. And it is also offered as Thanksgiving Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit to be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, we are gathered at the altar of God for celebrating this uh, sacred mystery of God's uh, love and God's uh, care for all of us. As uh, we are gathered here to celebrate this uh, Eucharistic celebration, let us go to mind our sins and ask for God's pardon and forgiveness. Together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels, sons, saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who restored human nature to yet greater dignity than at its beginnings, look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness and in those you have chosen to make new through the wonder of rebirth may you preserve the gifts of your enduring grace and blessing through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Years, and after that, he gave them judges and 
until Samuel the prophet. Then they asked it for a king, and God gave them Saul, the son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, for forty years, and when he had removed him, he raised up David to be their king, of whom he testified and said, I have found in David the son of Jeff, a man after my heart, who will do all my will. Of this man's offspring, God has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus, as he promised. Before his coming, John had proclaimed the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was finishing his course, he said, What do you suppose that I am? I'm not he. No, but behold, to me one is coming. The sandals of whose feet I am not worthy to enter. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response shall be, I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. Can you repeat? I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. To all ages, my mouth will proclaim your fidelity. I have declared your mercy is established forever. Your fidelity stands firm as the heavens. Our response? I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. I have found my servant David, and with my holy oil anoint him. My hand shall always be with him. Shall make him strong. Our response? I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. My mercy and my faithfulness shall be with him. By my name, his mind shall be exalted. He will call out to me, You are my Father, my God, the rock of my salvation. Our response? I will, I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Jesus Christ, you are the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead. You have loved us and freed us from our sins by your blood. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When Jesus had washed the feet of his disciples, he said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. I am not speaking of all of you, I know whom I have chosen. But the scripture will be fulfilled. Ye who are, ye who ate my bread as lifted as he against me. I'm telling you this now before it takes place, that when it does take place, you may believe 
that I am He. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever receives the one I sent receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers in Christ Jesus. In today's first reading, taken from the Acts of the Apostles, Paul, the Apostle, together with companions, preached about Christ Jesus, that he was a predestined or foretold Messiah by the prophets in the Old Testament, especially by prophet Isaiah. God chose his son Jesus Christ to be born as a human being in this world through a woman by the power of the Holy Spirit and uh, he must uh, do good works to all the people while living in this world and uh, finally he had to suffer grievously for the sins of the people and die on the cross, crucified on the cross for the salvation of the humankind. And uh, it was about Jesus that John the Baptist, the herald, the forerunner, preached in the wilderness that uh, someone who is greater than me will come and uh, I am not worthy to undie his sandal, the strap of his sandals. And uh, he told the people to repent from their sins to welcome Jesus in their lives. And in today's gospel we see Jesus uh, speaks about uh, the service, servanthood of his disciples uh, in the kingdom of God. All those who follow Jesus Christ, all the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ, that they must become servants of God's people. That they must always do service to people. And they must always uh, reach out to people in their needs and they must always proclaim the kingdom of God. So let us remember the two things of Jesus, the one thing that he did good things for people and secondly, he always served people. He came to serve and not to be served. And he came to give his life as a ransom for many. So let us pray for this grace at this Eucharist. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us a spiritual dream. Lord, we ask you to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite of hearts.
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be we accept to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept our sacrifice with your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and for our holy church. May our praise rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to load you in more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly hearts with the angelic hosts sing together the anandi game of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, the sun and the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the sun and the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and ended willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until, until you come out here. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and regard to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and also all gracious our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially for whom we pray at this Eucharist, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed 
Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be coerced with God and life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from the great evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said peace to your apostles, all of us who are gathered here, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. May the swindling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be formed with protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the King who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we of old to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should take under my roof to the rest of the world. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, Give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me.
through this spiritual communion. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ. Increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this pastoral sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The masses can get going in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Navena prayer to send you, O Lord Jesus Christ, who went on earth, did with a strong cry and tears, offered up prayers and supplications to your Father, received the offering of this service, during which we desired to join our prayers, we ask for these intentions. Here mention the favors we desire. We make this offering through Mary, your mother, and through Saint Jude Tedes, your beloved cousin, for each the helper in difficult cases, for their sake, accept our prayers, and render them fruitful. Amen. O glorious Apostle Saint Jude Tedes, patron of hopeless cases, who chosen by God to give testimony of the true faith, suffered all kinds of torture, and in the end, gave your life. Rather than deny your faith, obtain for us a faith strong as yours, and like you, make us ever ready to confess it with joy, so that we will die rather than deny it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be all the world of God. Amen. Saint Jude, pray for us. O faithful apostle, Saint Eutrus, beloved cousin of our Saviour, by thy honorable courage, in which you sacrificed your life, sooner than fail in your fidelity to the true God and true faith, obtain for us the grace to be a always faithful to God and to the Church in all our duty, so as to merit the share of glory in heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day of daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among men, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Jude, pray for us. O fervent apostle Saint Jude today, whose only desire was to please God in all things, obtain for us the same desire, that in play with the same power, we may spend all our lives in working on our salvation, so that purified by the fire of revelation, we may be entitled to an eternal crown of glory in the kingdom of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among men, and blessed is the fruit of the Jesus. Holy glory, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Jude, pray for us. Let us pray, O God, who through the blessed Apostle Saint Jude has brought us to the knowledge of your name, grant that we may celebrate his eternal glory by making progress in virtue and by perpetuating the glory we may advance in sanctity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray to Saint Jude, most holy Apostle Saint Jude, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor who delivered the beloved Master into the hands of his enemies, as was to be forgotten by many, but the Church honors and invokes you universally as the patron of hopeless cases, of things despaired of. Pray for me, who am so miserable. Make use, I implore you, of that particular privilege according to you, to bring visible and speedy help, to help peace and most despaired of. Come to my assistance in this great day that I may receive the consolation and succor of heaven in all my necessities, tribulation and suffering, and that I may glorify God with you and all the elect throughout eternity. I promise you, blessed Saint Jude, to be a man full of great favors and will never cease to honor you as my special and powerful patron and to do all in my power and great devotion to you. Amen. Pray for the sick. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall get well. Grant Almighty and Eternal God everlasting help to those who believe. Hear us for the sick for whom we implore the aid of your tender mercy that being restored to bodily health they may give thanks to you in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lord and Redeemer of the world, through the merits and intercession of his holy apostle Saint Jude, show us favor and mercy. Amen. May the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Saint Jude. Through the holy relics of St. Jude, the Almighty God, cure all the sick and bless all of you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. 